Harm reduction and overdose prevention is a really important issue. I think it's not just for me, it's for a lot of people um, here in this country and all over the world. A lot of people who are kind of against um, that and they'll say things like, I, I hear it from people in my own family as well, like, oh, we're just enabling people and, and we're um, giving them the tools to, to keep harming themselves. But if we look at the bigger picture, the only enabling we're doing is enabling them to stay alive. And I, I speak from experience. I'm somebody who has used drugs. And um, I did for a long time, a long period of my life. And I'm lucky that, that things lined up and that I was able to, to seek wellness. And um, because I think that someone like myself would have I would have passed away and I would be, I would have overdosed if I was still out there. Um, and I think everybody deserves that chance. I myself am two-spirited. I am indigenous trans woman. And I, a lot of the people that I walked beside through my journey of um, using drugs and doing sex, um, survival sex work, a lot of them have passed away, and I saw and lived the reasons that they passed away a lot of times was due to stigma, um, which can become internalized as well. I think if we can all focus on one thing to address the overdose crisis, it would be um, finding ways to make drug use more safe right now. And that could mean a lot of things. It could mean reducing stigma. It could mean um, having a safe supply. It could mean um, us having bigger, bigger conversations with everyone, you know, and including people at our, at our dinner table about how, how to move forward. Um, I think if I had any advice for anyone who is still right now, um, a person who uses drugs um, is that that I care for them, that I care about their safety, and that um, I would I'm going to keep fighting to keep, and keep doing what I need to do so that people like my brother and people like the people that I walk beside aren't passing away anymore.